I'm here at the inlet trying to get those togs. It's mid-December, it's pretty warm. Temperature is 57 degrees and the water temperature is about 50 to 48 degrees right now. Weather this year has been really really warm and it's good for the fish. You know, they're gonna stick around a little longer and hopefully you guys could get out there and take advantage of that. Today I'm gonna be using some jigs and some rigs depending on the condition. The advantage of having a jig is getting into the small crevices and getting in there and that's where the togs are. But jigs don't really work well in fast current so that, that's why I use a lot of rigs out here in the inlet because the current's always strong here, you know. So let's see what we could get today guys. What do you think guys? Rig versus jig. I'm gonna test out which one's better using a homemade rig with a dropper loop, single hook, or the good old jigs. Let's try it out guys. Let's go fishing. my spot I'm gonna start uh, fishing for talk water right now the condition is about 50 degrees and the current is pretty strong it's bottom of the outgoing tide right now so it's really ripping we probably have another, another like two hours until the water current changes so um, hopefully we could get something I like fishing the incoming tide at the inlet so I like to see all that clean water come in and the fish likes it so but I'm gonna start using my rig first see what's out there and when the water comes down I'm gonna switch over to the jig so let's go fishing guys here I'm gonna use a one and a half ounce I normally use a one ounce to two ounces okay uh, two ounce being like really bad current really strong current but I normally use a one ounce or one and a half okay so I like to like kind of like bounce around at the beginning and just figure out that I'm not stuck and I stay really still and from here I just use my size two or three bait holder hook or octopus hook circle hook something like that doesn't matter I, I like to use bait holder hook because I like to set the hook on the fish so um, anyways you go around twice and that's it so let me show you what I'm working with I got my GSB 8 foot surf rod it's rated for half to 2 ounces paired up with my VR50 20 pound braid bar swivel fluorocarbon beater with a dropper loop T-knot size 2 or 3 old bait holder hook and I'm gonna start out with a uh, one and a half ounce sinker the water is pretty ripping pretty hard I might go up to a 2 ounce maybe but for now I'm gonna bounce around and look for the fish so heavy drag pretty tight guys don't have it too loose this fish is a very strong fish you will dig in to the rocks as soon as you hook them you gotta be ready for these fish all right let's go first cast guys let's go oh they, they're here guys good taps looking for the fish right now as soon as it gets close to the rocks I do get some bites but nothing too big probably smaller fish like bogals, sea bass 
It was nipping at the bait right now, but I'm uh, gonna bring it in. I took my bait probably. That small piece of bait that the bait shop gave me. Just cast a little to the left. The water is still going out. Still have another hour of low tide going. Oh, there we go. We got a bite. We got a good bite. There we go. Fish on. Small one. It's good. They're here, man. Yeah, there's. That's good. All right, fish number one. Let's let her go. Oh. Let's do it. There we go. Get getting bites again. Let's go. It's a short though. I'm gonna measure this one, hold on. It's a short, but I'm just gonna make sure. All right, it's 13 and a half. There we go. Let's go. All right, so I got caught off. I lost my Rig, so I'm gonna use a jig now. Bear swivel to my 40 pound monofilament and 30 inches of that. There we go. Okay, let's see how it goes, guys. Okay. I'll go with like a half or three quarters of an ounce. Don't go too heavy. Uh, you could use a one ounce. It's current super strong. Look at the conditions. Because if you go too heavy, sinkers and jigs, they get stuck. So, oh, getting bites. Oh, man. Pull it out of his mouth. There was a hole that I dropped into. Todd just took it. There we go, fish on. Small one, little one. <laughs> there we go, another one. Oh, there we go. The shot, guys. Good one. Let's go. <laughs> Small one. All right. Fought like a champ. Just let her go. Bites. There we go, fish on. What's up, yo? Woohoo! 
17 man 17 inches nice fish guys there you go guys 17 inches it's about an hour and a half past low tide so the tide is about to come in i'm getting bites right now oh no missed the bite it's getting pretty windy right now all right A small one. Nice female. Let it go. There we go. Oh, another one, good one. Oh yeah. Another keeper though. Man, it's a good fish guys. He's there guys, he's hooked. He's hooked. Man, this fish is like stuck inside. Man. There we go. Coming out, coming out. There we go. Woohoo! Nice one, guys. Female. Let's get it. Another 17. Woohoo! 17. Whoa. Yeah, let's get it, guys. Let's do it. Right here. All right, I got two keepers today. Come on. Oh, there we go. There's bites right now. There we go. Give it a good measurement. 16. 16 inches. So guys, I caught three keepers right now. The bite is on fire. Let's keep going. Let's get our limit today. The tide is really coming in now. The current's got a lot stronger, but it's not affecting the bite right now. Let's go. Let's go. Fire today, y'all. It's crazy. Another 16 incher. Got another one. 16 incher. Fourth keeper, guys. Man, today is really unbelievable day, man. Bite after bite. Just keeper after keeper, really. Unbelievable, guys. Come on. There we go. Fish on, guys. Let's 
small one. Woo! Let's go. All right, guys. So I caught four keepers right now, and I'm gonna try to limit out today. Today is such a good day, man. Let's get it, guys. Oh yeah, there's so many tog down there. So active right now. Oh man, this is it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I gotta go get it. Let's go, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh man, gotta go get it. Don't let it go in the rocks. Just fell. See, it's in the rocks already. Whoa. Be careful, guys. Be careful with the water. Watch the waves while you're doing this. Oh man, he's stuck over here. Just like the other one. Don't pull too hard. I'm gonna snap the line. Woo! I'm gonna look for the right moment, guys. I might get wet for this. Whoa! <laughs> Let's get it. He's out. He's out. I got it. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Right there, baby. Let's do it. I don't think it's a keeper, but uh, I'm going to give it a good measurement, though. Let's get out of here. Let's go. my waiter though let's see if it's a keeper oh man it's 15 it's a keeper let's get it all right so i'm gonna use this jig finish it off okay Okay, I feel it. My, my jig is moving to the left though. I might have to go up to like a maybe a one ounce, something like that. Let's go. Fish on guys. Smaller one. There we go. On the jig. Small guy. <laughs> All right, not bad. The current is coming in, so I'm going to be casting to the right, and eventually it's going to end up right here in front of me. At three quarters of an ounce is not really doing great but there, oh man that was a good bite guys gotta pay attention there you go let's go good one Not bad, not bad. Oh, another one. Not bad, guys. Let's let it go, it's too short. There we go. Another one, another good one.
Let's go. Another good one. Oh my gosh. Another good one. Look at this. Woo! Colder. Fish are very cold right now. Let's let it go. Good one. Another good one, guys. Oh, it's fighting. It's fighting a little crazy. Let's go. Oh, man. Another keeper, guys. Let's go. Woohoo! Man, another one, yo. On the jig, guys. Oh yeah, 15 baby, 15 and a half. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It's getting pretty crazy right now. The current is like, the waves are coming over the rocks. So it's getting a little dangerous, but got a couple of more minutes and I'm gonna go out. Let's go, come on. Let's go, fish on. Small guy. Very small. Oh, it's small. Okay. So it's almost four o'clock, and when it turns tonight, they don't bite at all. So at least I got my limit today. Thank God. And um, I'm going to be sharing the fish also. Awesome day today. Can't believe it. Awesome. This will happen all, all the time. Alright guys, today was an unbelievable day, man. I limited out on top today in four hours, so it was a crazy bite. The largest one being like 18 and a half and 18 inches, 16s and 15s. But man, it was such a good day, guys. Uh, it's December and it's cold, but the togs are out there. People are saying that like a lot of tog fish are gone. They're not, man. They're here. The jig versus rig, uh, it really depends on you, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, the jig is really fun to uh, use. You feel the bite really good and it's very sensitive. The tog would actually feel the weight and might not take the bait, but uh, I don't think the tog is that picky too. If you were on a boat or kayaking and you're like vertical bottom fishing, the jig is the way to go um, but if you have strong current and you really want to like kind of bounce around and see where the fish are I like using the rig on one ounce sinker and one and a half sinker to see where they are having your bait kind of float right above the bottom and a clock come over and just take a look at it and feel no weight on it obviously just take it a run but really it's really up to you guys do whatever you're comfortable with that's what i'm trying to say if you know i grew up using rigs uh at the beginning but i see why people use jigs uh it's really fun actually more fun than the rig but there's a time and place where you could use both the jig i'll use it in a more of a calmer area okay not too much current and the rig i'll use you know in more of a strong current area to get to the bottom so you know i guess it's the tide guys so that's my opinion between jig versus rig guys thanks for watching